Well, it was much different today than we were just yesterday. Our Thursday, we had some rainy conditions, but we, we were at least warm. We were above average for most of the day. Now that rain has swept on through and much cooler temperatures. Highs today didn't even get to 40 degrees across much of the area. Morning lows were not any better in the 20s. Both of those below their respective averages for at this point out of the Beckley area. We have dry conditions out there with the sunshine, but looks are deceiving because even though we have nothing on the radar, it feels a lot cooler out there than the sunshine would lead you to believe. Temperatures in the 30s uh, as we head into the evening and even in the upper 20s through the higher elevations already. Tonight, temperatures will fall into the mid to upper 20s to around 30 degrees. Even some uh, lower 30s across some of those Coalfields counties will be a little bit warmer along the western areas. We might see some clouds start to be on the rise as we head early into Saturday morning. And that has to do with our next system. That's going to come as we head into our Sunday. It looks like Saturday is going to be the dry day of the weekend. Temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 40s. We'll have some clouds, but we will still have dry conditions. Sunday, no dry conditions. We have rain for most of the day, especially the afternoon. We'll be warm to start off the day, but we're not going to see much sun on our Sunday. So the weekend winter, that's going to be Saturday. So any plans you may have, especially outdoors, uh, make them for Saturday, given the conditions coming the second half of the weekend. Here's what's going on the next 48 hours. Temperatures in the 40s tomorrow. We will see some sun, but we also have clouds in those white grays. Uh, and temperatures may get into the 50s in the coal fields, so we stay dry Saturday. Saturday night, same deal, we're dry. But you're heading out early on Sunday. We will have clouds, should be okay in the morning. Not going to see much sun. Temperatures in the low 50s across the area. And then that rain arrives by the time we hit the afternoon, mid to late afternoon at the earliest, most likely around dinner time, and then continuing throughout the evening, widespread rain. Mostly rain event. We're not looking to see any sort of winter precipitation with this. Maybe on the back end behind uh, that rain as that cold front moves on through, we might see some snow showers Monday. That's why we have that isolated chance of any sort of precipitation. It's going to be mountain snow along the highest terrain. We're not looking to pick up much of anything uh, as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. No rain chances at all. And then the rain chances return potentially Thanksgiving night for our turkey day during the nighttime hours, maybe Friday, but they're really low right now. I think our best chance at uh, some good rainfall is going to be Sunday night across the area. But here's what's going on over the next week. We have average flow. That's when you see those parallel lines. That means this weekend we're going to see pretty average temperatures across the area, pretty calm conditions. Uh, but then in the upper levels of the atmosphere, we have this major dip in the jet stream. That means cold air across much of the east. It's actually extending all the way down deep into the southeast. So we're really going to be cooling down as we head into the beginning of the new week. We will have some mountain flurries across the area behind that system, but we're not going to see much accumulation. Temperatures, though, in the 30s for our daytime highs, pretty much like today, except even colder Monday night. We'll be in the teens some places. We'll warm up by the time we hit our turkey day. Samantha.